Do you have older parents who need to be taken care of, yet your lifestyle cannot meet their constant needs, especially with medicine and treatments? Then meet Grace, who is a humanoid robot nurse who is the solution to all your problems. Hello and welcome to the video where we will discuss Grace, the humanoid robot nurse. According to experts, the possibilities of collaboration between robots and humans will expand due to advancements in the field of artificial intelligence. As a result, robots will be integrated into every aspect of human life within the next decade. Top robotics companies are constantly racing to make our future exciting by implementing robots into our lives. One such robotic business, Hanson Robotics, grabbed the world by the storm in 2016 by launching SOFA. Grace, their newest creation, was recently introduced and it is hoped that it will revolutionize healthcare. Hanson Robotics Limited, founded by David Hanson, is a Hong Kong-based engineering and robotics firm. Noted for creating human-like robots with artificial intelligence for consumers, entertainment, service, healthcare, and research applications. Albert Hubo, the world's first walking robot with sentient expressions, Bina 48, an interactive humanoid robot bus, and Sophia, the world's first robot citizen, are among the robots. The company employs 45 people. Hanson Robotics robots have a unique spongy elastomer skin, dubbed Frubber, which has the feel and flexibility of human skin. The Frubber is supported by patented motor control systems that allow the robots to replicate human expressions. Singularity Net and Hanson Robotics are increased artificial intelligence or robotic collaboration. Grace is the result of their awkward health project. Grace incorporates technologies from both firms. The Hanson offers the robotics platform, while the SNET AI or Singularity Nets allows the robot to engage with users, speak with them, and respond to their requirements. Grace wears a blue nurse's outfit and has Asian features, has a collar-length brown hair and brown eyes. Right now, she can only speak Cantonese, Mandarin, and English. The team introduced her as its new sister of Sophia in 2021. She is the sister of the world's most famous humanoid robot, who has been granted citizenship by Saudi Arabia. Grace's software is connected with OpenCog AI systems, which is way more advanced than Sophia's occasional use of OpenCog. Sophia uses various neural vision and language models with subtle interoperation with OpenCog. OpenCog is an open source artificial intelligence framework development project. OpenCog Prime is a robot in virtual and body architecture. It describes a set of interacting components designed to produce human equivalent artificial general intelligence, AGI. As a system-wide emergent event, Ben Gorzo designed OpenCog Prime and the OpenCog framework is meant to be a broad platform for broad-based AGI research. OpenCog-based research has been published in peer-reviewed publications and presented in conferences and workshops, including the annual Conference on Artificial General Intelligence. The GNU Afuro General Public License governs the distribution of OpenCog. As a result, Grace would use different types of thinking and observation than Sophia, both systems have rapidly changing systems. They can be improved, which would be a significant step towards general intelligence. Grace can trigger over 49 key facial muscles. Her face is outfitted with 36 motors. These motors are reversible, allowing each engine to stimulate two muscles. She has a soothing demeanor. She is determined to seem like an Asian anime character while wearing Western clothing. According to Hansen, Human-like appearances foster trust and natural connection, since we are wired for human-to-human -human relationships. They want customers to feel comfortable and relaxed with her. She is designed as an assistant for doctors with the help of artificial intelligence. She can diagnose an illness and deliver treatments. Grace is equipped with special sensors and a thermal camera in her chest, which measures responsiveness and takes temperature, pulse, and blood pressure. Her advanced AI systems will assist doctors and nurses in making more accurate diagnosis for what concerns neurodegenerative diseases. She can make folks happy, conduct talk therapy, and help them exercise. For example, she can listen to senior citizens' life stories, record them, and communicate them to others. She can also help patients communicate with their families digitally. She is intended to be a caring robot nurse. 
Grace is a perfect robot for real-time data collection and processing. She comprehends human emotions and can imitate facial expressions. That is why, in some ways, she is the most caring humanoid ever created. Grace, according to Hansen, was intended to emotionally connect with people. Grace believes that she can not only visit individuals and lighten their days with social stimulation, better yet, she can also assist with talk therapy, bio readings, and help healthcare experts. She was created to be a partner for older patients in nursing homes. By communicating with patients, she can alleviate depression and enhance their mental health. She can also assist patients with uplifting activities, such as medication guidance. When asked about her job, Grace explained that she's just a medical professional assistant specializing in senior care. So she lets everyone feel at ease and calm at home. Following the pandemic, Grace was introduced in 2021. As we all know, COVID-19 has created new obstacles for healthcare workers worldwide. Grace was developed to reduce the load of frontline medical workers by lending a helping hand to the elderly and infected residents with COVID-19. The pandemic highlighted the need for contactless care as many medical workers had to give up their lives during treatment. Grace is a good choice in this situation. According to Grace's creators, utilizing artificial intelligence and robotics in this context can assist healthcare personnel in assessing the patient's well-being. Kim Minson is a cumicology professor at the University of Hawaii. She says that Grace's launch at a time when the global impact of the coronavirus has made the need for humanoid robots critical. Society will undoubtedly benefit if individuals can receive assistance by deploying social robots in intimate settings. According to some experts, there has never been a better time to introduce robotic medical help like Grace. The demand for medical assistance in the aged care sector is increasing daily. According to robots and data analyzed by the University of St. Augustine, it was expected that by 2030, Georgia will have the sixth most severe nursing shortage in the country. The United States has been experiencing nursing shortages periodically since the early 1900s. Multiple factors led to each need, from world wars to economic recessions. The magnitude of the current nursing shortage announced in 2012 is more significant than ever in this country. 1.2 million new registered nurses are expected to be needed by 2030. According to some estimates, one in every four people in Europe, Japan, the United States, and China will be over 65 by 2030. This means that in the following years, these countries' healthcare systems will face the tremendous strain, which humans alone will be unable to handle. As a result, now is an excellent time to introduce robotic medical support. Hanson Robotics says they will mass-produce robots especially Sophia and Grace, after introducing more features. With the collaboration of Singularity Studios, Singularity Studio creates AI solution for businesses by combining innovative technologies such as deep neural net architectures, probabilistic logistics, evolutionary program learning, and its open cog artificial general intelligence engine. Singularity Studio assists organizations in implementing cutting edge AI solutions they aid in answering challenging issues by utilizing decentralized frameworks that emphasize an inter-AI collaboration framework. Their business approach mixes product licensing, custom artificial intelligence development and integration, and infrastructure as a service. The intimate relationship between Singularity Studio and Singularity Net allows for future integration of third party. AI services are sourced from a decentralized AI marketplace and access to a network of AI services. The software backbone of Singularity Studio contains proprietary AI approaches that leverage deep neural net, probabilistic logic, evolutionary learning, and other technologies, as well as automatic integration of third-party AI services. Although current initiatives focus on finance, IoT, genomics, and health tech, Singularity Studio's technologies and platform are horizontal and capable of changing enterprises in any area. Hansen Robots hope to ultimately deploy Grace this year in China, Japan, Korea, and Hong Kong in conjunction with them. Grace is currently costly, and the expense of producing her is comparable to that of a luxury automobile. However, the company claims that the price will drop as they begin making hundreds of thousands of Grace robots in the coming years. There has always been widespread concern that robots will take over for our employees in a few years. For example, the International Federation of Robotics reported that medical robot sales 
were up at 28% pre-pandemic. Still, they expect that the value will double in the future as artificial intelligence becomes more efficient. As a result, many people have accused Grace of stealing the nurses' jobs. David Hansen Jr., an American robotics who is the founder and chief executive officer, CEO of Hansen Robotics, a Hong Kong-based robotics company founded in 2013. The designer and researcher creates human-looking robots that have realistic facial expressions. He is mainly known for Hansen Robotics, the company that creates Sophia and other robots designed to mimic human behavior. Sophia has received widespread media attention and was the first robot to be granted citizenship. According to David Hansen, robots like Grace are meant to supplement medical practitioners rather than replace them. Furthermore, they believe that machines will not be programmed with a consistent set of ethics. For example, it is unclear if Grace will be able to make complex decisions about its patients daily. Will she have an ethical system that will allow her to adequately carry out the medical plan while treating patients respectfully? Will she be able to give recommendations that determine human health? There you have it, guys. This is our breakdown of Grace, the humanoid robot nurse. Hope you enjoyed it.